Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're back at Soul Belly Barbecue for another songwriter showcase featuring some of Vegas's best musicians and hosted by Hal Savar. This event is quickly becoming a destination spot for great original local music and an awesome place to meet and network other musicians and grab some grub. And you, ma'am? How's the food? I think we have a critic. <laughs> Hal has done a great job building a community here of talent, and every show feels like a reunion. If you'd like to be on the showcase, hit up Hal Savar using his social media that I've put in the description. While you're at it, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos or live streams or anything else I've got going on the channel. Thanks. Now then, let's see what this show has in store for us, shall we? I'm guessing it has something to do with music and maybe barbecue. Just a hunch. Due to schedule and traffic constraints, the show was actually opened by the first act, Sage Waters. Like almost everyone that performed that night, Sage is, or will be, a Room 6 alumni, meaning I've interviewed them. If you'd like to be on the channel, whether reviewed or interviewed, or both, hit me up using my email address down in the description, or click on the Room 6 social media link. Sage did a great job opening up the show, from briefly explaining what it was about, to impressing anyone new to her music with beautiful vocal runs and lilting melodies. She's always a treat to watch. Up next was longtime showcase guest Quinn Turner. Quinn is quickly becoming a fixture in the local songwriter scene, so check him out when you get the chance. Quinn's music runs the gamut from hopeful to sexy, and he brings a subtle charm to the stage that many performers seem to lose over time. The crowd definitely appreciated it, and I do too. The next act was Johnny Fab, rocking the keys and even getting his wife into the act for one song. Johnny is a consummate showman who made his bones performing in retirement homes all around for appreciative audiences. Whether playing blues or jazz, his vocals ring out clear and his tongue-in-cheek lyrics keep the listener entertained. Coming up next was our host, Hal Savar. Always the showman, Hal's shiny guitar rang out and his powerhouse vocals let everyone know he was in the building. Next on stage was another perennial showcase guest, David Wax. David Wax specializes in power ballads that tell a story. He's not afraid to step away from the microphone either and let the audience hear his guitar playing. As a bonus, David was joined for one song by local up-and-comer Abigail Galloway, who will hopefully be on the channel someday soon. Following them was one of three members present that night, representing the Maybe Four, a band comprised of four songwriters that play on each other's songs. This band's first member was Mandolin. Like the rest of the May before, Mandolin is extremely talented on multiple instruments. For her solo set, she treated the audience to some guitar playing, along with clever lyrics and wordplay. She finished out her set with a cover of Rope by Alan Murphy, who will be playing a show with uh, the May before at Taverna Costera soon. Following her solo set, Mandolin slid over and grabbed her drum to accompany fellow bandmate Joey Hines who will also be playing a set at the Room 6 Rocks Summer Showcase this Saturday at Chiba Hut on Rainbow and Sahara, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you can't make it, consider hopping on the live stream. If you haven't heard already about the showcase, it's a free show featuring five acts that have been on the channel before in the past. There will be a mix of genres represented, so if you're in the area, swing on by. Joey's songwriting is a mix of fun and satirical, fused with emotional content. We need emotional content as i was saying emotional content that hits home mandolin's drumming provided a solid backbeat while her backing vocals gave the tunes a little more depth finishing the trifecta of maybe four folks chris dunn took joey's place on stage while mandolin stuck around to play some drum for him too chris's music is upbeat and built around earworms accentuated by mandolin's drumming and the crowd couldn't get enough of it I'm looking forward to getting the Maybe Four on the show soon. The second to last act of the night was Kella T, who will also be part of the Room 6 Rocks Summer Showcase. Kella always brings passion and power to the stage, with songs about love and heartbreak rooted in the blues and rock and roll, but uniquely her own. Her songs moved from slow to sensual to fast and rocking, and she's always a treat to see perform. At the time of recording, I interviewed her for the second time just last night, 
so stay tuned for when that posts. New to the showcase, and to most of us in the crowd, Ian Crawford took the stage next. Finishing out the night in a big way, Ian brought a loop pedal and guitar effects to the night. Not to mention, expert use of a harmonica. Every song was full of layers built from the ground up, and every tune was played with heart and fire. I'm looking forward to getting him on the channel soon too. Overall, this installment of the Songwriter Showcase at Soul Belly Barbecue went great. I'm so glad I'm part of this weekly event, and I think you'll enjoy it too. Drop in next Sunday, or hop on the live stream at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. See you there! Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you'll swing by Soul Belly Barbecue if you're in the area of Main Street in downtown Las Vegas, or hop on the live stream next Sunday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Before that, feel free to swing by Chiba Hut, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, for the Room 6 Rock Summer Showcase, or hop on the live stream for that. All of this can be made possible by simply subscribing and ringing the bell, and then you'll be notified when stuff is happening. Uh, in the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here, and if you'd like to subscribe, really does make a difference, guys. Please click down there and don't forget to ring the bell. Um, consider going to room6.shop for some merch. And yeah, have a great day. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.